Yo, so what's up with it? It is Prophecy. Uh, it is almost four in the morning. We is on the way to Cincinnati, Ohio for the first Comic-Con convention uh, in the Black Shinobi. You know, Yo, this is my partner Black in crime. For real. Yeah, I don't know if you can really see him, but we got swords and shit, man. Hella videos coming soon. Um, yeah, just get ready. He right there. Behind him. Kill you up! <laughs> <laughs> you gotta turn around. <laughs> We're well, on this bitch, man. You said what? I told you I stopped playing all them games. How you guys doing? Uh, uh, um, question for Sam here. Um, also, Matt, uh, my mother wanted me to tell you that she loves you in uh, the Vampire Sucks movies. Yeah. She, <laughs> she think you're way better than Edward. Uh, yeah, as a vampire. Uh, <laughs> but um, Sam, um, you're one of my favorite actors of all time. Uh, I've been following you since uh, Starkiller, um, The Mist, Being Human. Uh, they're all my favorite shows. Um, I, you're acting as Deacon St. John. It just puts me over the top. Um, you actually pushed me to become an actor so well, and um, I've done two commercials because of that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> and um, I just want to know, um, because you're, uh, you know, in uh, video gaming and um, and also the like real life acting, I would say, um, which one would be uh, is your most favorite? Because I understand like composure from video games is only like a, a certain client base, because you know it's only gamers only going to appreciate. Um, but you do so, like, your acting is so well, um, and a lot of people can't appreciate that, you know, Oscar-wise or anything, because it's video games. So I want to know, um, do you have a sense of uh, regret sometimes, uh, uh, not re really want to go to live action uh, and doing video games, or are you just comfortable with doing it with other? And uh, also, um, uh, I would love to play the game with you sometime. If you're, if you're down, man, I have a PlayStation 5, I would love it. Um, but, Okay, yeah. Um, dude, such a great question because, yeah, I'll be honest, there is a little bit with, for example, Days Gone. Uh, I was shooting on that for four years. We shot five hours of cinematic content, and that's not including all the in game dialogue, which was thousands and thousands of lines. We shot five hours of in game content. Five hours is a British season of television. Right. <laughs> 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 oh, no, no, but they have tea time and they don't do as long hours, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would love to move there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're lazy because they have lives. I love that. Anyway, so, um, so, yeah, on some level, I, I have to admit that I have thought at times. There was a YouTube thing that came across my feed that was like a scene with Deacon, and I watched it, and I remember being like, yeah, that's me on stage, and that's them tracking my face as well as the technology you can do, and that's them doing all that stuff. I'm really proud of this, and I, I definitely have a little bit of a pang of like, if only we could have done this live action, this could have been a TV show. Right. Now, the, the thing is that video games are getting more and more prestige every year because they're growing up with the generation that invented it. We, you know, we will have at some point a president of the United States who grew up playing video games. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's, 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 in, in, it's in its infancy, it's like in its teenage years now. I mean, days gone, every other word that comes out of my mouth is the F-bomb. Yeah. <laughs> it's clearly an adult game. But, you know, ultimately, when it comes to reflecting on these things, you have to, there are two ways you can take 
Uh, you can say, oh, I wish that was over here. I wish someone saw that I did this over here. Like being human, we had a small audience, but we had a devoted audience. Mm -hmm. If I was a theater actor, then all of my work would be really ephemeral. We would get together, we would do a play, whoever saw it would see it, and then it would just go away, you know? And it would only exist in people's memories. I'm fortunate in that some of the things that I've worked on are things that people want to talk about years down the road, and maybe that's the way I need to look at it. Whether it's a TV show, a video game, animated, um, the fact that anyone cares years down the road is like holy grail territory for an actor because it means that you, you did your job. Uh, right. It means that people were entertained, it meant something to them. Mm -hmm. really. So that's where my head's at. You know, I do sometimes go, oh, I wish this or I wish that. And I'm like, you, you already won the lottery, you right. know? Like, mm -hmm. like being human, man, like that was an incredible experience. I had no life <laughs> whatsoever. The, the power of for beers and karaoke. <laughs> 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 you know, we, we, did, we did get together for, you know, holidays and stuff like that. And, and, and we, yeah, we were exhausted all the time. But it's... I'm, I'm so thankful that I had that experience to tell a story over four years and to tell it and then to end it on our own scene and to say, no, oh, we'd like to end after season four and all that. Um, that's what one needs to focus on, especially in times like this, you know, global pandemic, and lots of people really, really hurting. It's, it's, you can choose to think about the things that haven't gone the way that you thought they would go, or you can choose to think about the things that things that went really, really right. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of in the, the position right now where I'm just like, wow, you know, I mean, here we are talking about these things. It's incredible. It's an unbelievable uh, luxury. So that's, that's sort of where I land on that. I appreciate that, man. You guys are so adorable. So adorable. <laughs> Yo, this nigga is knocked out. Yo, look, yo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here. I lost track of my mind and my sanity Saying God and my mom, listen, are you mad at me? The only feeling I had was through the TV When I hit up anybody, nobody needed That's me facts. Only time I got texts when my mom tried to feed me They use it as a tease, but I tried to be left alone People didn't like me when I was in my zone Mind was blown, home a drone, beware of a moon like a traffic cone she told me she was pregnant i ain't know what to do my mama slipping because i know she was fucking dude i calmed down took a breath so them pills ran up that check didn't understand how to process what was next sometimes i think about to do what's best i didn't want to end up leaving you like the rest but i'm sick of end up having all these fucking tests told you my feelings are beginning to manifest would you want somebody to love you that doesn't love themselves? when i put my own heart at the back of the shelf i'm worried about the health because i said fuck the wealth i tried to end it once but i snapped my fucking belt i took it as a hidden message maybe god wanted me to go through these lessons so i sold my weapons and i got the reps in